Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another weekly episode here. So today's topic is this, how to model custom stairs in SketchUp. All right, so sit back, relax, and I will see you inside. All right, guys, welcome back to another exciting lesson here in SketchUp. So if you're joining me today, you're probably an interior designer who's looking to just get started with SketchUp or you're coming back for a bit of a refresher. Either way, that's awesome. Today, we're going to be looking at how to create a staircase, right? And we're going to be using um, the basic modeling features inside of SketchUp, okay? Now, after this tutorial is done, you're, you're going to know not only just how to build a staircase, but you'll also know a lot of the tools necessary to build all sorts of geometry inside of SketchUp. So it's going to be a really valuable tutorial for you. Now, if you find yourself getting a little bit lost or a little confused, maybe you're having a hard time navigating or just using some of the hotkeys that we're talking about in this tutorial, check out SketchUp Launch, okay? It's a free course and you can you can get up and running with SketchUp within a few days, okay? It's, pretty, it's a pretty detailed course too. I mean, and you're going to be finishing a project by the end of it, which is it's, it's fun. It's fun. Plus, you'll be joining our community. So if you haven't yet, check out SketchUp Launch. Um, now, for this tutorial, when you're ready to follow along here, all you need to do is download the project files, which are just below this video, and we'll go ahead and get started together. OK, guys, that's it. I'll see you inside. All right, guys, so when you open up the project file, what you're going to see here is this drawing, OK? Now, in order to edit this drawing, you need to double click into it, all right? And that's going to send you into the group, and then you'll be able to edit the drawing. So if you're having a tough time editing, just make sure you double clicked into the group. So this first step, I want to be uh, seven inches off the ground. So let's hit P for the push pull, go seven inches. Uh, this one, 14 this one 21 and eventually my math skills are going to run out so 28 and 35 Oof, we're getting close we're getting close to it 42 uh, so that brings us okay so I have actually run out man and it's a little embarrassing but uh, you know what I went to art school I was an art major uh, I haven't really done math since oh, high school, algebra. Didn't get very far with that subject, but hey, that's all right. So I'm just going to speed this up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me deal with all this. But the general idea here is I'm just going to raise it up and then go an extra seven inches above where I where it snaps to. So raise it up, raise it up to the height of the previous step and then just go another seven inches type it in, typing it into the measurement box. And then just erase the final lines and there we have it, a little staircase. All right, so at this point, let's go ahead and add a little bit of texture and make this interesting. So if you click on the paint bucket tool up above, you should get a material list that pops up. I'm gonna cruise through my list and find a wood texture. And I'll click on that. And with that selected, I can just hover on over to my first step, left click, and it'll apply the texture. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of a nub right there, so let's fix that. Go back in the model, select that face. We'll go to texture, position, and let's just make sure we have it nice and lined up. Awesome. With the paint bucket tool selected, I'm going to hold Command or Control. If you're on PC, it might be option if you're on PC, actually. Uh, so let's click there and basically we just copied that texture we're going to do the same thing all the way up the steps and we could do the same thing on top of the steps and there we go now we're not going to really see any of this but we will see the side of this one so there we go so let's just fix that right click texture position and this one, if we just slide it over a touch, we should be good. All right, cool. So we have some textured steps that are going up. All right, guys, well, that's it. So hopefully you're walking away from this tutorial with a staircase uh, model and you are also got the textures on there and you have a lot more understanding of how to build like custom geometric forms inside of SketchUp.
So there's a ton more to learn, obviously, for this program, and we teach it specifically for interior design. Um, so if you want to join us in the SketchUp Launch Program, we'd love to have you as part of the community um, where you're going to be learning a lot, not just the basics, but you'll learn quite a bit and you'll, you'll actually end up doing your own project in there that we're going to work on together. From there, that's a prerequisite to some of our more advanced training if you're interested in really taking it to the next level. So that's it, guys. I'm going to leave you there and I'll see you next time for the weekly training. Okay, bye-bye.